Mozerg versus Zerg action here for WCS Challenger Europe as we have spawning up to the top left-hand corner for our next best of three to find out who moves on to the grand finals. It will be Nurcio, winner of our previous Zerg versus Zerg. And down to the bottom right-hand corner, we have Eliza as our blue Zerg. So we're in for the Ling Bane Roach Ravager Investor action once again. <laughs> You're really selling the hell out of it to me with that epic voice, Gerlis, aren't you? you? Yeah, I try, I try. <clears throat> so we need to wait to see what happens. <laughs> Can it be hatcheries on the way to start things off? So no early pulls on either side with a gas each and now into spawning pools. So nothing too crazy just yet. But both of these players when have gone up against each other before. Yeah. Quite a lot. 41 and 11 in series uh, in Nurtio's favor, but he lost the last four. The momentum is shifting. Yeah. Eventually, Laser is going to catch up. It's unavoidable. One of those was in the upper bracket here, correct? Yeah. So. And Laser won two and three up against Nurtio. It's crazy, like, actually, like, because um, map wise, it's only like it's 104 to 50. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like every time. Nurture wins two maps, then Elazer wins one. So it means they have had a lot of close series. Yep. I wonder what... Like, Elazer probably is happy with the situation and winning the last four series against Nurture because, like, he beats him, like, when it's mostly important. Like, now in the WC circuit, like, he beats him in a Yon Chopping qualifier as well. Mm -hmm. Spike Roll already going down for Nurture. Wow. He's really anticipating some kind of aggression coming here from Elazer. Because... Actually, I, now that I mentioned that, I remember when we did have that series between Laser versus Nurcio, Nurcio said something at the end of that series, and our lovely producer came and translated it for us, and he said, uh, GG Gambler. He called him a gambler in the yeah. last game. So him going for some precaution here, Nurcio, he thinks that Laser might be a bit more of a gambler once again. I mean, it's StarCraft. Yeah. Like, sometimes you need to gamble, right? Sometimes, yeah. It's funny to think that once upon a time, almost nobody would dare gamble. Everybody was trying to play as safe as they could. Mm -hmm. And then one day, a couple of degenerates out there <laughs> started completely embracing it, even pushed it to the limits, like Shakura's Plateau, proxying in one of the two locations where the opponent could be and hoping yeah. that the opponent was going to be there. And ever, like, since that time, the game has never been the same. No, oh, indeed. People have learned to take more risk at times, especially if you think you're the underdog. Again, like Elazer, he was won the last couple of series against Nurcio, but he has a huge losing record against him. If you think that a build is going to be risky, but maybe uh, give you like a certain chance of victory if you can pull yeah. it off, then go for it sometimes. I remember those Embrace builds. Embrace it. Embr Embrace the inner degenerates. <laughs> those builds back in the day. I like to call them probability builds. It's like, is he there? Yeah, he is. Okay, I, I did a lot of damage. Is he there? No. Oh, oh well. The, uh, <laughs> that was the crazy stuff back in the day. But these lings are not doing too bad. I don't think they will really get much done here, though, thanks to the fact that there's two Bane lings coming to them. Good splits off, though. One for two is not the greatest of trades here for a laser. Enough lings come along. Nurture just weakened the Satchery quite a bit, so the follow up attack comes later. Might be able to get that. Queen's getting Overlord at the third base. Not bad. Elazer is playing like he's quite confident actually against Nurture. Like mm. putting down his uh, Evo Chamber like this at the back of his natural middle line means he has no interest in walling off. And he knows for a fact that this is going to go into a Roach Wars where he doesn't want to have uh, his key buildings at the front yep. exposed. Likes to put some pressure on with some links. Whilst two are actually darting into the main base to have a good scout about. Although it's not sure, maybe he wants to go for a spire because he's already on three gases. Or like the laser is, I guess you do need that much gas to start plus one missile and then to go straight into glear reconstitution. Not sure, actually got four uh, out of three on that gas here up there. Oh. Oh well. Fix it. Fix, fix it. Oh, he's fixed it. There you go. You shouted at him and it worked. Usually it usually works. Yeah. This Link having a bit of a scout around as well. Likewise, this one going into the main base. He's the layer, walking in. So he knows that his opponent's layer is behind him. Yeah, so it was fire. fire. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because yeah. he had three gases pretty early. Do we see a spire as well from Elazer? 
Probably not, but if he did, that would get really interesting. Yeah. So we talk about uh, the Ling Bane Roach Ravager. Mm -hmm. You can add the M for this with for the Mutas. I'd like to see even a Spire versus Spire is something I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, for a yeah. long time in ZVZ. And then there'd be that question of do they actually stay? Yeah, there it is. Oh. Do they stay on Mutas? Nurtios mm. is way earlier. Yeah, it is. That means his carapace could be early. If he if he sniffed out his opponent's Yeah, I, mean, I don't think he's going to be Mutas against Mutas, but... No. Yeah, Hydra then already starting for both players. Great so. scout, actually, by Laser. He saw the Spire of uh, Nurtio. Oh, he cancelled it he as canceled well. canceled it. Look at that. That's so sick. Double cancel and then both, both into a Hydra's. Yeah. Nurtios was so early, so early that he shouldn't have cancelled, but he did, maybe didn't know that. I don't know. Mm. I think one of the only things he could really got was maybe like an Overlord or two. Maybe yeah. Some harassment, keeping his opponent back in his base. That's so funny. They just both cancel. Yeah. Abort. It's like when you have the perfect synergy with a friend. You're like, let's go get dinner there. And then the last second, you're like, actually, I really don't feel like burgers. Let's go tapas instead. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, actually, I already booked it. I was thinking the same thing. You know, <laughs> it's just like perfect. Initially, when you have that slight pause, let's get dinner there. I thought you expected me to say dinner at the same time. But clearly, I said it wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, usually you're in your room doing your thing, so. Absolutely. Instead of having dinner with me. I'm what you might call a hermit. Feels, feels lonely, man. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have Rotti soon. He'll go out with you. Rotti? Yeah, he'll go out with me and then look at his phone oh. for 45 minutes. <laughs> actually, I actually make a point of like trying not to look at my phone yeah, when right. I'm in those kind of situations. I, I think the same, actually. Yeah. I hate it when I go to like a dinner and then I can't tell, but like check Instagram, Twitter and stuff. And then I realize I'm there at dinner with someone. I'm like, God, like I'm such yeah. a bad friend. Although that time we did go to Pancake Heaven, we were watching Twitch together that time. Yeah, yeah. That was fine. We shared the moment. That, accept that was acceptable. <laughs> Modern nerds. Ordering food and watching Twitch streams. Yeah, exactly. This is what the You know what the become. crazy thing is? I don't know what my life would look like if there was no Twitch. Like yeah. I truly like... At this point, yeah. I feel like it'd be so boring. Like... I think like the if there is a zombie apocalypse and then like the internet somehow like you know there's no more streams obviously because oh. we're out there busy get, trying to survive and stuff. Like the first I'd be ever just streams, like, there is no more Twitch streams. Just turn me already. Just bite me. Go ahead. <laughs> Take me out. Life is boring. It's done. It's done. I'd rather eat flesh than not have Twitch streams. <laughs> I think the first ever streams I did were on Justin TV. So yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about that, it's kind of crazy. That's so funny. Justin launched that thinking was the sickest name. I like how I like how the the creation of that website was just he wanted to stream his day to day life, and then he realized, oh, other people want to stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he called it Justin TV because it was just him. Unbelievable. I don't know what to do? Kyle the TV. Cast your own life. Basically. People are going to follow it up. I kind of do that anyway. And there's going to be a big fight here. We have the good fungal as well as cross the files. He does just go the high ground. He does. And actually, it's paying dividends up to the top left. And he's going to attack at the gold base at the same time. If Nurture does not react, he's going to lose a ton of drones instantly. Oh, the there. gold base? Oh, my God. Oh. Elaze is wrecking this game. He's going to smash him. GG. What's going on? Elaze is just like... He's not going to lose to Nurture anymore. He had a good spot. And that was not a gamble. No, it was not. He had a good spot. And, well, actually, there was. I think I think some of it was slight gamble at the beginning. Like, not like having his evolution chamber oh. in the back. Not so you're on a Nurture bandwagon. I see how it is. Yeah, I guess so. It's like, um, it's not economical cheese, but it's like he's taking so many little risks to get himself slightly ahead. Yeah, yeah. So a few small pieces of cheese. Sm yeah, small pieces of... Like at the breakfast buffet we got. Yeah. You yeah. eat cheese in the morning? No. I did try some of the honey, though. Yeah, I did, from actually. The, from the honeycomb fountain yeah. itself. <laughs> it's sick. The reservoir of honey that was created. I don't... Th that's not a common thing at breakfast tables. Yeah, no, no. That's it not a common thing, period. No. All right, we're going to be on sequencer for game two.
Everyone in? Looks like everyone is in. I'd love to be able to show the nurture portraits. I think it's so cool that they're, so they're portrait in game. Yeah. Which These are great times we live in. Voice packs with com famous commentators mm -hmm. in them. Skins that you can actually get. Mm -hmm. And uh, portraits for the players, WCS players themselves. You could have bought a pack back in the day, couldn't you? Yeah, there were cards actually like a long time ago at BlizzCon. I thought those were really cool already. Oh, the cards? Even though like the most popular card was the Mr. Bitter card for some reason. Like there was like three in every pack. I was like, what is going on with this? Todd, don't get me started on these cards. That's, pro that's probably the saltiest I've ever been in StarCraft history. Because I didn't have a card. And I'd cast the... Back in the... D All right, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, Blizzard. I think I cast the most tournament <laughs> that year, and they didn't have a card either. And I was both playing and casting WCS. Back when those cards came out, I'd cast the most WCS in the world because I'd done all the tournaments for WCS 2012. No card for Kyle Aris. They knew you'd betray us eventually for heroes. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into the game. Game number three. Wow, thanks, Todd. If Heroes gets cards, to be fair, you'll definitely get Oh, one. absolutely. Yeah, I would. Shame they're not going to get cards. They'll probably have something way cooler. <laughs> What's cooler than cards? I don't know. Beach buggies? I don't know. <laughs> A jet ski? <laughs> A jet ski. <laughs> You've won this. Congratulations. All right. Up to the... Oh, yeah, it is 1-0, isn't it? What have I done? Who have I given this to? Not sure. Uh, up to the top right-hand corner, it's going to be a laser in the blue. And down to the bottom left-hand corner, it's going to be Nurcio in the red. And I think Nurcio is going to be wary of the potential of a gamble coming out on this map in this game. Long rush distances, therefore, you'd be less inclined to go for something aggressive. And because of that, go for something aggressive. Actually, no. Just go for greedy. You say that, but... And then build up your economy and then crush him with more units. Exactly. And then he will stay, he will stay nice gamble. Oh yeah, we got links on the way. He's about to say a nice gamble when he takes damage to this. What's oh, a Bayman Mist as well? <laughs> this is going to be so good. <laughs> <laughs> you're like one of those guys that sees something and you're like, he's going to be so mad. Yeah, he is. He's, he's going to so be happy so happy about it. I can't wait. <laughs> Ten links and a Bayman Mist. No, she was making a few. You know, actually, I feel like there's something wrong with the world when some people find happiness in other people being mad. I hate that. That's what the news is as a whole. Have you ever, like, if you really hone down on watching, like, a news channel, all of it's bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, and everybody watches it and laps it up. I didn't mean like that. Oh, no? I mean, more like the trolls trying to, you know, make people oh. upset, and, like, if they make them upset, they try to make them even more upset. Yeah, well, they just have no purpose in life, don't they? So. I think if you make someone <laughs> upset and you realize it, you should stop. Don't try to push for more. Yeah, I think so, yeah. But the internet and people being anonymous, that's what you get. That's five Banelings morphing in. Where are they? Two on this side, three on this side. Not in vision. Yeah, but the spine crawler is on the way here for Nurture, and he's already got a queen there with the second one in position. Mm -hmm. This could be great for him if he can hold. Could be. Banelings. Oh! Oh! Oh, God, that much. Oh, the links, they got wrapped around the little queen. They're going to go straight for these queens oh there. Oh, my God. And more links are going to come in. The spine! Actually, he gets that Bane in quite far away from the other Queen, so that's going to be hard for him to snipe that. If he kills that Queen, though, he can go into the main. He's going to do plenty. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of links popping here for Nurture, so he might survive. And I think he will. Bane is morphing in again. He needs another yeah, good He lays us all in with this, and he, he hasn't done, done enough no, yet so far. not really. He needs to get workers. He needs to get workers, a lot of workers, or the hatchery. Yeah, I think this is, this is a defense here. Yeah. This might be game. Yeah. Nurture is... Got two more queens. He's getting more behind this. Oh, the links are running past as well. He's confident. Two queens and a spine to defend at the front while the links counter. Ooh. Ooh. Bane no. gets a good connection. But again, that spine and the queens, the big threat there. Oh, if he can get the queen plus the spine. He gets that. Oh, does he get a spine? He gets the spine. Oh, my God. He does laser. He... It is way more links, though. Yeah, he does. They are not there. No. Yeah, I think this is looking bad now again for laser. Mm -hmm. Even though he made the most of that last last wave that came in. Defender's advantage in this matchup can be so strong sometimes. I mean, it's, again, one of the longest rush distance, you were just saying it. So yeah. to do something aggressive like this, you'd really have to hope the opponent would mess up big time. And now Nurture didn't. He's back to his old defense. Solid and uh, looking sound. Running away. Running away. And Nurture. Just going to keep chasing. You saw that those Banelings were morphing in, though, close to him. 
Also doesn't want on any of it. It's gonna go around though. What kind of what kind of player are you? Uh, the aggressive one or the camping one? Oh, I'm absolutely the aggressive one on StarCraft. I was a big cheeser, Todd. Give me fun. After we've casted as many games of Haz as we have, mm -hmm. we don't get to call ourselves big cheeser. No, true. He's the big oh, kahuna wow. cheeser! What? Ah! what in the world was Nurture thinking? The Lynx is going back. Transfusers are going to help out. Buy enough time there for the Lynx to I get I guess he's going to be okay, but yeah. that was Maybe. unnecessary. And GG gets called. 1-1. One, one. That was... <laughs> He almost like he wanted to bait it. He knew he was ahead enough, but still, like that seems unnecessary. And uh, Nurture with the equalizer here after a pretty quick game. Yep. True, true, true. All right, so game three. What map do we think it's going to be on? Did they say? Did they tell us? Defenders landing. Could do the same build and be successful. Or later game. Greedy. Greedy, greedy, greedy. But then Nurture is the one that's aggressive. Maybe. Looks like we're on the wrong map because I got invited and now everyone's left and it's only me. So maybe not defend Feels well. lonely, man. Yeah. I remember when those cards happened. Somebody, a fan, at an event, where were we? Made me a card. It was really? Very, yeah, I thought you were going to say somebody mistake you for Mr. Bitter and asked you to sign his card. <laughs> no, they made me a card. It a was couple really of people mistake me for Roddy in Did Austin. Really? Yeah. In Austin, somebody mistake me for Apollo. And I'm like... They were like, hey, Roddy. I was Apollo, like, Apollo's not here. I anymore. wish. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, somebody... It was at Katowice one year. Somebody made me a card. Because they knew I was sad that I didn't get my own card. What do you do? You print it and you hand it out to everyone, pretending no. that it was the real thing. I still have it, and uh, I still have it on my shelf at home. That's how much I cherish that. Thanks. There you go, guys. You know how to satisfy Kadaris's ego, <laughs> make him a card, <laughs> and yeah. then he'll be happy. All right, Ascension to Aya will be our third map, not Defenders Landing for the final game in this series, and then we will move on to our grand final with the best of five and one map advantage for Serral. So, let's jump in, as we do have, spawning down to the bottom right-hand corner. It's gonna be our red Zerg. It will be Nurcio. And up to the top left-hand corner is our blue Zerg. It's gonna be Elazer. Serral should have a one map disadvantage, if anything, to make it fair. <laughs> And he still, like, wins 4-0. <laughs> I'm like, what? What's going on? How did he win 4-0 in a best of five? Well, he started with a one-map deficit, Charles. Well, he's Daryl. Yeah. <clears throat> What's the f your favorite movie that you've seen recently? Mm, I did go and watch this Guardians of the Galaxy. It was pretty good, but it was overhyped, I would say. People are about to get angry at me and tweet me soon. It was overhyped. Um... Favorite movie I've seen recently? I don't know, I haven't watched many movies recently. I d I've watched, it's not a movie, but I've been enjoying watching The Grand Tour on Amazon. What's that? It's um, top. It's basically the guys from Top Gear, but they got fired from the BBC or, well. One so of them they went around the world now or something, right? So, so yeah, kind of, they went, they did shows for Amazon uh, and clearly their budget was a lot bigger. <laughs> bigger than BBC. <laughs> right, so what, what do they do? They test uh, drive cars? Test cars, do stupid things in cars, that kind of stuff. Build stupid cars. It's really... It's like a, what things? It's a great series. So they there was a special where they made beach buggies, actually. Now that I've made that... They reference. made them? Yeah, they kind of... like No, they modified beach buggies. Okay. And they had to drive over, like, um, a desert in Africa. And it was good. It was entertaining. It's very. It's a really good show. Really. Yeah. Do you need to be British to enjoy it most? Or? No, no. I think everyone the world round really enjoys. I, should, I would check it out. Here. I guess. Yeah, Grand Tour. It's good. But aren't these guys like some sick edge lords? No, not really. They try and. I mean, they're. They try hard, right? Mm. I'm not a big fan of the edge lords. You know. They're not edge lords. They're quite try hard. Like the esports ed edge lords are the worst too. No, oh, yeah. I mean, there's plenty of those, right? I think they're dying off slowly, actually. Not dying, but <laughs> <laughs> their way is dying off. Their order. 
Ling's gonna clear out the entire area here on both sides of the maps from, from both players. Mm. As we do have speed on the way. Nurture went for a spine. So he seems to be really worried. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He has no overlord nearby where uh, Elazer's base is. Yep. And he hasn't lost any, so it's really weird. I don't know. You, I guess he wanted to be extra safe. He wants no more gamble. He's done with it. Yeah, I think he feels he can win out if his opponent isn't gambling. And even if he is, then there's the potential that he can just win outright with having an early spine for the defense. I mean, let's be fair here. Elazer lo loves to play quite aggressive himself, and a lot of the time he's going to be attacking, so... If there's an over 70% chance that he's going to attack, you might as well. well Get extra ready. That's 18 links being produced by Elazer. He does not have a Baneling Nest. Yeah. Hasn't started it yet. So he's going to defend his He's mining gas, so he should be starting it. Yeah, he's he, he? he's just using this to defend his third. And then from there, maybe he can launch an attack, but he shouldn't really against the Baneling Nest and Spinecrawler and Queens. Roach for him for a laser. Okay, so usually when you would want to go Roach, you I, I don't know, I feel like you would make it earlier, but he's mined so much gas already that... I mean, the thing is, is that Elazer is getting a third base earlier. He's going to deny his opponent's third base. Yeah. And forcing that spine crawler at the beginning of this game is actually like a big deal yeah, yeah. in every single one of these games. But well, he doesn't know that. He doesn't, know, he, that he he doesn't that. know it, but if you watch the replays, it's a big win. Oh, he does know. It's there. He sees it. If, if it's, a, it's a big win. It's a, it's a lot of minerals early game for them to Elazer just have natural advantages moving forward. Yeah. It's got a slight walk lead, and then from there, I might just be happy droning up. Nocho, though, putting on pressure with these Banelings and Lings onto the third base. Hey, remember, there is no Baneling Nest here from Elazer. Mm. He went for the Roach one instead. So he's going to have to get a couple of those Roaches here as soon as possible. And make sure that those Banelings don't connect. It's only three of them, to be honest. Like, it's not that many. Sees it. Will pull away. As long as he keeps his third base alive. He's to separate a few Lings off for these Banelings, though. Banelings are slowly getting closer. Good focus fire from the Queens onto two Banelings. Third one goes down as well, and that's the defense. Yeah, sick cleanup here by Laser. He targeted those Banelings with the Queens beautifully, and behind this, Nurture is trying to go for his own Roach Warren to match these numbers, realizing he's going to be facing Roaches and his counter attack here didn't do anything. All right, 10 more drones on the way. These Queens will push this back. Spinecrawler even repositioning. And the third base here for Nurture is tucked away down to the bottom now. Leia starts slightly earlier here for a laser, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be plus one missile attacks here for both players. Nurture starts mm -hmm. that before. What's going on here? How did these links get in? They just walked in. Spinecrawler repositions to maybe try and defend the third base ramp. They just drops it on in. There isn't even that much camper. Yeah, there's not that much gas being mined here for Nurture. One of his gas guys is actually has one of three on it at the moment. I yeah. suppose if he's only making roaches across these two bases, that's fine. It's, a, it's an okay ratio. The roach wars. They're about to begin. What happens when an intrusion meets an intrusion, Todd? Well, we get double the amount of intrusion. <laughs> that's true. <clears throat> Lynx again gonna run by. There are roaches now, but they're just kind of getting out. Just pulling back with his lings as well. That wanted to go on to the third, but I think he realizes that Elazer would have roaches. And now, all of those progressive steps from that spine crawler to the third base and things like that is going to mean that Elazer is going to max out maybe 20 or 30 supply quicker than Nurtio. Yeah. With roaches, if he just goes max roach. And usually he's very good at identifying that and attacking if he can mm -hmm. in those situations. Trying to get some more drones. Yeah, get two. Oh, can you get that one? Oh, oh. Let's go! Let's see. Here come Lynx. Nurture trying to do the same thing. New transfuse as well. Oh, nice queen block. Drones are going to be vulnerable up to the top. That's got two drones already, so equalize the damage. Walker can't steal even, and both players making a ton of units. Look at Nurture. Two more spines. He's like, oh, hell no. I think he realizes yeah. that he's behind. He has to. 
I wonder if Ilesio has the discipline to say like these pints are scary and then pulls back or if he thinks he has enough anyway and goes for it. It's 45 roaches to 25. Yeah, it's double the roaches. I just... The little advantages here and there. Good stuff by Ilesio. He might just smash through this. Yeah. Intrusion, more like an invasion. Yeah, absolutely. TG, there we go. Okay, wait for the plus one. It finishes. Now they're on equal footing with those upgrades. He's got some uh, Ravagers in with this as well. As long as he targets the spine, but he doesn't actually target the spine with the Ravagers. He did land on some of these roaches, and uh, there's still yeah. so much left over here for a laser. Nurture trying to stay alive. It looks like a laser definitely has the better end in CVD nowadays. And we're going to have the same grand finals oh. here in this. Valencia Challenger, as we had for Yon Shopping, with Elaser going up against Cyril and coming back from the lower bracket once again. I guess it's pretty much undisputed at this point. Across the last two or three weeks, we've had these two both make the grand finals of WCS Challenger Europe. Yeah. And Nurcio improved slightly. Slightly last time, I think he took fourth, whereas now he took third. Mm. All right. Well, that means now we have a best of five with a one map advantage for several going into the grand final. The winner will walk away with $1,600. The loser will walk away with $1,200. And of course, WCS points in favor of several out yeah. of the 1,000 that is available here for the tournament. You know who just had the biggest sigh of relief? Who's that? Our referee, because Nurture won't ask any more about using the skins oh, yeah, that he's true. not allowed to use. <laughs> 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 one thing less to worry about. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely correct. All right, we're going to go to a break. And when we are back, our final series of the day is going to be another Zerg versus Zerg. Serral goes up against a laser. Let's end this thing once and for all.